This is a homemade parachute we built for under $100 and I'm about to test it from a 100 feet bridge. Ever since I was a kid I was wondering is it possible to make your own parachute. We decided to test it ourselves. Out of all the different shapes of parachutes we know, we decided to go for the circular one as it best fits our purpose. In free fall you reach terminal velocity when gravitational force and force of drag even out. If you want to reduce terminal velocity you must substantially increase your force of drag which we will try to do with our own handheld parachute. But before we jump with it ourselves we have to figure out if and when does it open and can I even withstand such a jolt with my arms. So after leaving countless hours in research, we felt confident enough to make a plan. Skydivers use light and durable materials for multiple use, while we want to have it for a couple of tries and the materials need to be cheap. How cheap? Under $100. Then we had to calculate the parachute radius, which we did by equaling the gravitational force and force of drag, enabling us to highlight the terminal velocity, which we wanted to equal one of falling from 15 feet. Then we build a small replica and take it outside to see if it really works. Let's see what the test experiment will show. <laughs> we did two tries and both times parachute opened and it seemed to have slowed down about as much as we expected. So we decided it's time to do it all over again. Build a whole new parachute but this time five times bigger and do a proper full scale test. We are back at the crane facility where we've done a couple of projects and we're gonna do full weight and full size parachute test. So for today's test, we're gonna use our 80 kilo Mr. Goodride and our six meters wide parachute. Okay, the main danger here is the wind. The wind can blow the parachute far away and you can run away from him and it swallows you and then drops on you. That's, that's what can happen. For the first test, we're gonna hang Mr. Goodride off of the parachute and then drop the parachute and see what happens. And we're going up 15 meters or 45 feet. Let's go! The two main things we have to figure out are does the full-size parachute even open? And if it does open, how long does it take to fully open? Three, two, and a drop! <laughs> total fail! Total, absolute fail! Our good right cracked. We forgot about a small yet very important detail of a parachute. There is a specific way of folding it up so that it actually opens in the air. What we did was just crumple it up so that we could hold it. So we decided to go again, but with a better approach. By having two people holding the canopy, half open, and maybe it's gonna open earlier, and hopefully this time it's gonna open and save our body. Stop! Three, two, and a run! Yes, it opened and it formed like a nice canopy. He's alive! But he's alive! <laughs> we did another test to just reaffirm that the parachute opens. I'm quite satisfied with the test. The canopy needed about 10 meters to fully open. That meant we need a location higher than 15 meters. It must have a water underneath and a lot of space back and forth as we realize you can travel quite a bit. If you've seen our last video, you know exactly where we are headed. The beautiful canal bridge that is 17 meters high and has a long deep straight river underneath. The game plan is, first we're gonna lower gap it down to a certain point so the, the, the parachute will be already inflated and um, up in the point and gap will go for the full base jump. So I will go off a ladder while two of the boys will hold the parachute above me. When I jump the parachute should open about 5 meters above the water, which should answer our last question, can I withstand the jolt? We finally untangled everything, the ropes are ready, now let's uh, go to the location, put it down, get gap in the position and jump. But yeah, it might go very simple, it might not go simple at all. You can 
clearly see from our faces that we are a bit nervous. We are really hoping that this thing is going to work. We attached the ladder. I'm still uh, very worried because uh, it's so much stuff going on. At this point, I would once again point out, please do not try this yourselves. We put a lot of research into it and we're only trying this above water under controlled circumstances. We made sure to go step by step and made sure it works from this height before going to a bridge that is literally twice this height. It was the petal gel from the top. Yes, mission successful! <laughs> Gap successfully landed two times, which I consider a win. Uh, it was super chill to hold it. I landed like smoothly. It was low speed, so I call it success. We noticed parachute was torn a bit, which meant we'll have to make a new one and move on to a 100 feet bridge to see if this parachute actually works. Our final destination. Uh, we're gonna jump off this bridge. All right, let's jump. Even though all the last tests were successful, it's been almost a year since the last one, and I feel a bit rusty with my base jumping skills. <laughs> we spent a lot of time looking for an ideal 100 feet high spot that is located over water in order to minimize any chances on landing on solid ground. But there were still other potential dangers. The parachute can not open 100%. The second uh, problem that we might have is the, the parachute is going to tilt and I'm going to land sideways. I'm still scared of the height and everything, but nonetheless, it's going to be success. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so, so excited. Yeah, but it's still, um, yeah. I feel some butterflies. I'm aware of that and I don't want to tease you too much, even though I have a lot in a lot of jokes in my chamber. So I need to remind you once more that it's a homemade parachute, intentionally with the lowest quality materials possible. I think in total, like this, is around 100 bucks. That is also the reason why on the last attempt the parachute tore a bit. So this time we made a backup connecting all the lines over the canopy, which should disperse the force much better. Now the wind uh, is blowing a bit too strong, so we're gonna wait an hour or two. And the only bad thing about that is Gab has to be uh, nervous for longer, <laughs> which I think that's the only reason he would like to jump now. Honestly, the weight was killing me. I'm really afraid of heights and this was one of the highest levels you can face this fear at. But I had no choice than to wait until the wind calmed down. With the flat water it looks a little okay. bit higher. I think like the, the flat water uh, with the small waves gives you a perception that you are way higher. Yeah. We could see conditions calming down, so we started preparing for the jump. Usually you pack your parachute, we unpack it. We it's need some <laughs> manual guide. <laughs> This looks like a mess. We just put all the lines in parallel, so uh, I think we're gonna be ready in a few minutes. So excited! How are you feeling? Not the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good time. <laughs> let's let's move. I wanna do this jump. I'm uh, the the my my time frame of being nervous is being too long. So let's let's do the jump. All right. Positive mood. And yeah, it's gonna work well. We're gonna all do a base jump. We're not gonna tear a parachute and we're gonna have lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. <laughs> Childhood dream coming true. <laughs> Standing on the edge, nervously looking into oblivion, it's hard to remember why we're doing this. It's crazy to think that I'm actually about to try the very thing that I have thought about so many times as a kid, wondering if when I grow up I can make my own parachute. Grinch is the set. If you stayed this long into the video and enjoyed what you saw, we post a video like this every two weeks. And once again, please do not try this yourselves. Okay, scotch him. Pit. Четыре, три, два, Энна!
work. That was a successful job. Despite how crazy it sounds, our homemade parachute actually got me to water safely. That was super scary, but when it opened, it was fun. The jolt was not too hard and the feeling of flight was crazy. Of course, Miuji and Yanni also wanted to give it a go. The parachute ended up working better than expected and we're happy to have another lifelong question answered.